<clears throat> Hello everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber Wonderbread here, and today I got some great, cool, awesome speculation. So, today is June 10th of 2014, and E3 is going on. Now, because E3 is going on, we're getting a whole bunch of new information, trailers, all that jazz. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you know what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to talk about after I've watched a couple videos. So, first off, Call of Duty Advanced Warfighter, Warfighter, Advanced Warfare put out a video um, talking about their pre order bonus, or I guess a couple of their pre order bonuses so far. If this is all they're bringing, that's, that's really sad. But the first pre order bonus, um, if you get the, the pre order the game right now, is a. I'll leave that link either, in, I'll put it in the description and I'll also have an annotation on the screen. So, that's where I'm getting this information from. And then I'm also going to talk about. Um, some more information and speculation about their E3 like trailer, not trailer, but like their E3 demonstration that they did with IGN and I'll also leave, um, I'll try to leave a link if I can find it in the description, but I'm just going to go from there. So first off, I'm going to talk about their pre-order bonus. So the pre-order bonus, if you haven't seen the video, like I said, watch that first. Well, anyways, you don't have to watch it. I'm going to tell you what happened. So the pre-order bonus, you get a couple things. The first thing is you get a basically a gold exoskeleton and the second thing you get is the, the EM1 quantum gun now this gun runs off a battery it's kind of like a laser it shoots kind of like a laser um, and you could but you can also run out of battery as they said and it can also overheat but the positive is um, it doesn't have a reload so you can basically shoot you know as long as you want if you don't run out of you know if your battery doesn't run out and if you uh, don't overheat. So although there's no reload, battery seems like that is the basically the ammo. So you're you only get a certain amount, and I I don't think it would you know replenish kind of like basically like I said the same thing as ammo. Also, so that's that's a cool thing. So I'm gonna talk about a little bit more about that in a second. Um, and then also the other part was the exoskeleton, like I said. Now they said that you're gonna get a they, they called it like a brass exoskeleton, which is, but it looks like gold to me. I mean, it, everyone, I mean, I watched a T-Mart video about it, and I watched a, uh, another video. Um, doesn't matter, but they basically said it looked like gold, like, too, so I'm assuming everyone thinks it's gold. Let me get some water right quick. Give me a one second. So, they talked about the gold exoskeleton, which is cool, but that also opened up another avenue that I was thinking about because this is going to be a gold exoskeleton does that mean that we're going to get exoskeleton camos like in the game or like for DLC even for DLC too are we going to get DLC exoskeleton cam camos like we get you know gun camos and stuff because if so yo I think that would be pretty cool um because that'll be you know you can see your exos exoskeleton on your arm when you're you know when you're shooting and all that jazz and even like in the you know in the kill cam and all that stuff and you can see other people's pretty well it's basically like the outer you know outfit like we have in call of duty ghost or any of the other ones now that you can customize the colors and all that jazz and now they give you you know uh the astronaut dude and all that stuff so i think the camo you get a gun camo and you get an exoskeleton camo that's pretty cool i was thinking about that um that avenue so the next part of this video let me let me know in the description or the uh, comments what you guys think about that exoskeleton exoskeleton camos. Do you guys like that or or not? Nah? Just let me know what's up. Second part. So I was watching another video. Hutch put out a video like big changes to Call of Duty, and then also as you guys could probably have seen in the E3 demo for at at, at the Microsoft conference, they talked about how or they didn't really talk about, but they did it in the video. There's going to be a dash, and there's also going to be a double jump. And there's also going to be um, like a boost assist. Now the boost assist is the boost is is what I think powers the double jump and the dash. Now the boost assist runs off fuel. At least in the campaign it, I was watching, it runs off fuel. In the video I was watching, it was a campaign video, the one you guys saw, or you might have saw that was in the Xbox uh, conference. It runs off fuel. So if it goes, I'm assuming it would go off fuel again in in multiplayer. Because, like, unlimited boost, people would just be freaking jumping around all over the place if you had unlimited fuel. That would be insane. But I also wanted to say that people that played Titanfall said that this um, 
that Titanfall is way faster than Call of Duty now because of the you know the dashing and the boosting and the running on the walls and all that crazy stuff that goes on in Titanfall. Now Call of Duty feels slow. So Call of Duty wanting to you know bring that tw- bring that Twitch shooter trophy back in their sp- in their uh, you know in their field or whatever in their game I should say they are bringing that double dash and, and the double jump that's or maybe not double dash but just the dash that's going to be insane if it's if it goes to multiplayer which everyone's saying if but i can almost guarantee there's no way they're talking about the exoskeleton this much and it not coming to multiplayer that's a major tease if they would do that like what talk about one of the coolest features ever you put in a campaign which basically what five percent of the of the people who play call of duty care about I don't know. But anyways, it'll be in multiplayer. There's no freaking doubt. There's no doubt it's going to be in multiplayer. But because that there's going to be um, fuel that you have to, that's going to run out over time or after you use it a couple times or whatever in multiplayer, I think that's going to add a whole nother division to the strategy in multiplayer because, well, yeah, there's a a huge window up there can you get up there really quick sure but you're gonna have to use you're gonna have to double jump which is going to use part of your fuel and if you only get so much amount of fuel during the entire game like what that's going to be crazy you know what i mean you got to save that or maybe you know maybe is there going to be different classes like with you know snipers uh shotgun guys uh the agility people you know the people that are smgs assault rifles all that stuff are they going to be you know how they're faster right now well maybe is there going to be uh different fuel levels for each um like for each class so for example like a smg class you get 100 uh i don't know gallons of fuel right that's a lot but you're if you're a shotgun guy you only get uh 60 or if you're a sniper guy you only get uh you know 40 whatever that sort of situation could it work like that that would bring a whole nother you know division to the multiplayer and then also when i was watching the the uh the demo on microsoft i'm trying to make this video as quick as possible what are we at right now Ooh, we're at seven minutes that's not good so we're gonna wrap this up real quick tie on the bow tie it in a bow i think that's what i'm going to say so also i was thinking about the in the in the uh gameplay they showed at, at the microsoft conference there was a boost assist which is when like the guy jumped off this tall building and boost assist used his fuel to hit the ground and without getting hurt now does that mean, I was thinking about this, does that mean that that eliminates the, uh, like if, you, say for example, you get shot, blah, 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 you jump off a high structure and then you die. Now, what if you use your boost, you don't die anymore. That's pretty cool, right? That's another thing, you know, or, or what if you had a boost and you actually used your last boost, all that stuff, you're going to be able to dash around corners so much faster. Oh, it's going to be so crazy for multiplayer. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think in the description. Peace in the streets.